Ten Ghosts of Wales. Cluid. Number 1. Victorian Lady. At Boddlewooden Castle, located in Boddlewooden, many ghostly activities have been reported, the most common sight being of a woman in Victorian clothing, but other reports include shadowy figures lurking in corridors. Number 2. White Faces. In Chirk, there is believed to be a block of flats that is haunted by white faces that peer through windows at people. Their exact intention is unknown. Other ghostly sightings include a blind man with a stick and a woman in a Salvation Army uniform. Number 3. The Chambermaid. A few days before her death, a chambermaid at the Castle Hotel in Conwy requested that her body be sent back to her home in Anglesey. The landlord initially agreed but later failed to keep to his word. Shortly after her death, the building was plagued by otherworldly events. The landlord finally took her body back home, but this didn't seem to stop the ghostly activity and the sightings of the chambermaid. Number 4. Sir John Wynne A murder takes us now to Guido Castle in Conwy Valley. Sir John Wynne now haunts the castle that he in life murdered a maid who he was having an affair with and bricked her body inside a chimney place. The maid herself is also claimed to still roam the castle, bringing with her the stench of a decomposing body whenever she is near. Number 5. Screaming Priest At Penryn Old Hall in Penryn Bay, screams can be heard throughout the building. The most common belief is that the screams belong to a priest that was hung, drawn and quartered in a nearby field. The hall has other reports of a spirit girl standing in the staircase. Number 6. Little Girl To me, there really is nothing creepier than the ghost of a little girl. I don't know what it is, but they really strike a nerve. At the party shop on High Street in Mould, the ghost of a little girl is said to haunt the shop since she leapt to her death from the attic window. She gets blamed for the malfunctioning of appliances within the building. Number 7. Nora. A phantom nun named Nora walks the areas of Repra Park of Deeside, humming and singing to herself as she goes. A witness once claimed to have taken a picture of her by a waterfall, but this is dismissed as a fault from overexposure. Number 8. An unexpected passenger. A man reports that while driving home from dropping his girlfriend off, he glanced to his passenger seat to find an elderly gentleman sat there wearing a cap and holding a walking cane. Freaked out, he stopped immediately and ran from his car in a panic. Once he had a chance to recover from the shock, he returned to his car to find that the old man had disappeared. Number 9. A Wife in Despair Love truly is a powerful emotion. It can make life worth living in more ways than measurable. Some believe love even transcends our physical existence. In Little Acton Hill in Gresford, we get a real feeling for that sentiment. When one night two men walking down a road are approached by a figure in a white gown. Initially the pair are shocked by what they see, but when the figure gets closer they are relieved to see that the figure is of one of the men's wife. But when the figure suddenly vanishes in front of them, the two men rush back to the house of the woman only to find that she is dead. Her love brought her to him so that they could see each other one last time. A truly remarkable tale. And finally, number 10, Grey Lady. Following on the theme of love, love is a powerful emotion, making you capable of things you wouldn't normally conceive. When a woman decapitates her husband after finding him with another woman, she is soon beheaded for her actions, only for her spirit to remain in the area of Ruffin Castle for witnesses to see on occasion since the 15th century. That's it for this 10 list, thank you for watching, have a good day. I'd also like to apologise in case I've pronounced some of the place names wrong, I fear I may have done that.